Loganeers. Today we're going to unbox Next Station London. This game is from Blue Orange Games. This game was designed by Matthew Dustin and it was illustrated by Maxime Maury. And it is a flip and write game of sketching subway lines. This is for ages 8 and up and for 1 to 4 players. I wonder how you can play this by yourself. And also it takes 25 minutes to play. It says, you have been hired by the city of London to, redes to redesign their underground lines. Number one, each turn you reveal the next station and create a new railway se section. Number two, optimize the number of districts you connect, the tour sites you access, and take advantage of the tunnels passing under the Thames River. Number three, outline four underground lines and score the most points. Who will be the best railway architect? And the contests are 200 sheet score pads, 20 cards, four colored pencils, and illustrated rules. And the neat thing about this box is on the back, they actually have French definitions for any people who like live in London. <laughs> okay, let's open this. And here it says, Next Station London. This, this is a pretty nice packaging. First of all, there is a rule book in English. And French. The rules actually don't look that complicated. I'm pretty excited to play this since I kind of like looking at train lines whenever we go on trains. Over here on the red side, they have rules for solo gameplay, and if you need more of a challenge, you can do advanced. Oh, nice! It comes with colored pencils, so you can draw your line. And they're all different colors. There is, there's a dark blue, a light blue, a pink, and a green. That's pretty nice. Now you don't have to get your own. Usually in games like these, you have to get your own, but in this game, they actually have it. Here are the game sheets. And the, by the way, they're double-sided and so that they didn't waste paper. And also you can play on each sheet two times. Here are the station cards. And they each have different symbols on the top left. So you can see on the game pad where you want it to be. And right here, these are the modules if you want to do the advanced. Right here are some challenges like you can probably not have like eight stations. Or this one maybe you cannot have some major you cannot you must have five major stations or whatever the stars are. And so on. We're gonna play this game and come back with our initial thoughts. And we're back. The objective of the game is to score the most points by making the best connection. Here's how to play. We are the color pink, and at the start of everybody's turn, somebody will flip the top card of the deck, and let's say that it's a triangle. Then we have to move to a triangle using all the options that we have, starting from this pink dot. Oh, wait, where's the pink dot? And since we're pink, we have to start from this pink dot. And we draw a line to a triangle, and the options here for the triangles is the one up there or the one down there. Basically, you're trying to make many different lines from four colors, connecting them all around your map. And at the end of the game, your map will look something like this. And whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins. My favorite part is the concept just about connecting the lines. It's actually pretty fun to do that. And also, there is a lot of strategy involved in this because you can go many different places and sometimes you can go long distances. And basically, at the end of the game, you're also trying to see how many stations have the most lines going into it. I also like just drawing the lines on the paper. It's pretty fun. And it does look like a real metro map at the end of the game. If this looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. Bye!